You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, welcome to another video. Today, we are doing another Dr. Pepper drinking game. This is the second part in the series, Leprechaun 2. I am joined by Joshua from the 80 Slasher Library. Welcome back to the show again. Thanks a lot for having me, man. I'm excited to get into Leprechaun 2. I am Team Leprechaun, as always, and my rules, I drink whenever the Leprechaun uses his magic, whenever he forces a rhyme, uh, whenever he attacks someone, whenever he does an over-the-top kill, when someone sneezes or mentions sneezing, and when the Leprechaun mentions his gold or wants slash takes someone else's gold. We both take a drink when there's bad acting slash dialogue, like in the first one. And then I'm team human as always, you know, and um, I have to drink when someone or a leprechaun is greedy, when someone doesn't believe about the leprechaun, when someone falls, when someone screams, when someone seems unfazed by the leprechaun, when St. Patrick or St. Patrick's Day is mentioned. We'll both have to take a drink at this classic scene of this movie that any everybody who's seen this movie remembers uh when the leprechaun makes a guy think that he's sticking his head into the boobies of a hot woman and it's actually a lawnmower yeah. let's see here oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he used his power it's me. check out his costume if you try to escape you'll be dead on this night <laughs> That was a forced run. I'm 1,000 years old. He just said he just turned 1,000 years old. That's uh, that's not right, because he was 600. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So he's he's either lying or something, but like, that doesn't make any sense. There's no reason to mention St. Patrick's Day. A scream. That was horrible. Did you see her face? 1,000 years later. I've never had that big of a time jump, I think. No. Oh, that's some bad acting. That was bad acting right there. Would that be using his magic? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely not physics, I guess. Oh, he took his gold. Take him off your shoulders. <laughs> what the hell's happening in the background? And I bet he had little gold buckles on his little black shoes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I bet he had little gold buckles on his little black shoes. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. I love that. <laughs> Being a smart ass is better than being a dumb ass. Remember that, kids. Some wise words there, man. Very forced rhyme. Took his gold and attacked him. Finger looking good. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was so bad it was good. That yeah. Line, finger looking good. All right. You gotta take exactly. a shot now. Not not yet. Not yet. I have it ready though, so just let me know when. You'll know. <laughs> now. <laughs> now, was that a cool kill or what, man? <laughs> that was awesome. A lot of sneezing. That's one sneeze. Oh, two. One more and she's screwed. <laughs> A leprechaun scream. I think that might be the first one ever. Huh, it's a real golden shower. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't have a rhyme for like golden shower. I can't believe I thought of it. <laughs> I mean, that's that's more of a Freddy Krueger thing though to yeah. say. So I guess that's why they. Uh, I kind of feel like you're uh, you're winning this one so far. Oh, they've screamed and fell a lot. <laughs> what was that sound? A motorcycle. <laughs> oh, jeez. What if somebody was in there? You just open it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> and a scream. Well, that's an over-the-top kill. I know where you live! I know where you live. That was bad. Where have you been? I've been so lonely. I've been so lonely, baby. I get so lonely, I could die. Thank you, thank you very much. Scream. Oh, using this towel. He's gonna blow! He's gonna blow! Oh my god. 
that was a bad line. That was That's kind of the a, ending. Yeah. That was a weird cut. I know. It looked like it was gonna like go back and show the coin and like make the leprechaun laughing or something. What the fuck? Uh, now we said we were doing two and three on the same day, right? That's that's a fucking weird ending. So we both have our scores now, and we're gonna say it in three, two, one. Ninety-eight. Oh, jeez, <laughs> you definitely won this time. I really enjoyed Leprechaun Two. I might prefer it over the first one, but I kind of gotta gotta settle and just think about that for a while. It started off pretty slow. Uh, but then it really picks up quickly afterwards, and there are a lot of memorable scenes in there. You got drunk. <laughs> you yeah, said you enjoyed chapter. seeing that. Leprechaun got drunk. Leprechaun drew, uh, drove in a go-kart, so ton of stuff to remember. The ending, though, I mean, what what the fuck was that? That was, like, really amateurish. Like, the way that was done, that was yeah. not good at all. But, yeah, it is what it is. The rest of the film was awesome. I loved it. And uh, I'm excited to watch the third one pretty soon. Well, anyway, that's all we got to say. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. See you later. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's going to be wild tonight.